It was the summer of 2015, and five young Americans from Arizona were embarking on the adventure of a lifetime. They had heard the rumors about Putin's Russia, the booming economy, the lavish lifestyle, the endless opportunities for those with the right connections. They were determined to see it all for themselves. The group consisted of three guys and two girls, all in their early 20s and eager for adventure. They had planned their trip meticulously, packing their bags with everything they would need for the long journey. They were confident, full of energy, and ready for anything. Their journey began in Phoenix, where they boarded a flight to Moscow. They landed in the capital city in the early hours of the morning, bleary-eyed and disoriented from the long flight. But they were determined to make the most of their time in Russia. Their first few days in Moscow were a whirlwind of excitement and discovery. They marveled at the stunning architecture of the city, visited the world-famous Red Square, and sampled the local cuisine. They were enchanted by the Russian people, who welcomed them warmly and showed them around with pride. But as they ventured further into the country, they began to encounter a darker side of Russia. They found themselves caught up in the world of corrupt officials, criminal gangs, and dangerous spies. The journey quickly became a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, with the Americans always one step ahead of their pursuers. Their first brush with danger came in the city of St. Petersburg, where they were approached by a group of Chechens. The men were friendly enough at first, offering to show the Americans around the city. But soon they revealed their true intentions, they were working for the FSB, the notorious Russian intelligence agency, and they wanted to use the Americans as unwitting spies. The group managed to escape the Chechens, but they knew they couldn't let their guard down. They began to take precautions, carefully checking their surroundings for signs of danger. But their luck eventually ran out. In the city of Kazan, two of the Americans were arrested by Putin's police. The young man and woman were accused of spying, and they were thrown into a grimy jail cell to await trial. The remaining three Americans were devastated by the loss of their friends, but they refused to give up. They worked tirelessly to secure the release of their comrades, but their efforts were in vain. The trial was a sham, and the two Americans were sentenced to life in prison. But they refused to give up hope. In a daring escape plan, the three remaining Americans smuggled in a small vial of poison. They gave it to their imprisoned friends, who used it to fake their deaths. The Russians, convinced that the Americans were dead, disposed of the bodies. But the young man and woman were alive and well, and they soon joined forces with their friends. Together, they fled across the Finnish border, narrowly avoiding detection by Putin's police. The journey had been long and difficult, full of danger and uncertainty. But the Americans had emerged victorious, heroes in a foreign land. They would never forget the lessons they learned on their journey, and they knew they would never be the same again.